G'day everyone, this is Joe here from thekissprinciple.net. I want to share something with you which has been on my heart for quite some time. And it's something which I also believe it's um, very difficult um, for some people at the moment. And I want to approach this very, very carefully and I want to approach this um, with love and compassion. Yet, I want to approach it also with the power of God's Word. As you probably noticed, um, that we live in a very different world um, as we know it. We've seen um, the reports of the COVID-19 virus. Um, it's been all over the news, all over social media, all over the newspapers, all over everything. And what I want to... Um, share with you about this, um, some of my thoughts and reflections, and hopefully something that you can take away from after watching this video that will encourage you, motivate you, and empower you, because that's what this channel is all about, thekissprinciple.net. Firstly, I would like you to go and read in its entirety Psalm 91. I'm not going to read it in its entirety here, but go and read that all the way through, where it says, you know, the Lord is my fortress and ever-present help in the time of trouble, Psalm 91. Go read that. I also want you to read the first few verses in John chapter 14, where Jesus is saying, let not your heart be troubled. And that's one of the encouragement that I want to give everyone today and also with a little bit of a challenge and that is whom or what are you putting your trust in these days? As you can see with what has happened um, with this virus that has spread around the world, you can see that people can put their trust in money, they can put their trust in cars, they can put their trust in a house, they can put their trust in oh, many different things. But as we've seen with all of this, if you put your trust in anything but God and the power of his word, then you're up for a very, very difficult time later on because God, all through the history has shown his people that it's like building your house on the sand instead of on the rock. That's a parable that Jesus talked about. If you put your trust in the things of this world, eventually they are going to fade, crumble, fall apart, wear out. The only thing that is assured 100% is your trust in God and the power of his word. That is the one thing that has stood and will continue to stand the test of time. So let me ask you that question again. Where are you putting your trust in whom or what? Is it in God's word? Do you spend time praying? Do you spend time reading his word, the Bible? Do you spend time meditating on scripture? Because you see, this is why it's so important. If you focus on the news, the media, social media, that is going to perpetuate fear, anxiety. And when you're so full of fear and anxiety, that can cloud your judgment. That can cloud your ability to hear from God, to hear his wisdom and his knowledge. You know, it says in the book of James, if you lack wisdom, you should ask God. It says in Proverbs, wisdom is the principal thing, the number one thing. And you can only get that when you spend time hearing from God. And when it comes to hearing from God, the most primary way that God talks to his people is through his word. And you see, if you're full of anxiety and, and, and fear, you're not going to think clearly on what to do. What are some of the steps that you can do to help protect yourself, help protect your family in these difficult and challenging times? 
Okay, so what are some of the practical things that we can do? Well, firstly, number one, listen to the authorities, um, what they're saying. You know, the Bible talks about that we are to obey the laws of the land, okay? So that's, that's the first thing that you can do. Some of you might be, um, you know, in isolation, um, different countries, different regions of the world, different rules at the moment with how you um, are meant to be distancing each other. Um, so follow those rules that your local authorities have put out. That's number one. Uh, number two, of course, um, spend time um, praying, reading his word, listening to um, what God has to say through his word. So th that's, that's the, the, the other one um, that um, you should be doing. Number three, keep yourself healthy. And you know what I mean by keeping yourself healthy? Don't eat junk food, okay? Eat healthy, good, whole, fresh types of food here. Um, take nutritional supplements. I take nutritional supplements as well. Supplements like vitamin C, vitamin D, um, fish oil, all these sort of things. There's there's lots of different resources on the internet. But the, the, thing, the focus of it is keep yourself as healthy as possible. And the other thing as well is to be educated. You know, um, I'm not saying don't go watch the news. I'm not saying be ignorant of that. So, you know, you're saying, Joe, no, don't go put on the news, don't um, look at um, social media. No, I'm not saying that. You know, there's a difference between being informed and being ignorant. Um, I, I look at the news, I look at um, different things so that I've got an idea with what is going on. But when I start to sense that, hey, this thing is starting to sort of drag me down, then I put that aside. I'll go away and I'll, I'll read um, an encouraging book or I will pray or I'll open the Bible and I'll meditate on some scripture. So that is the way you do it. And finally, one of the things that I want to encourage you with is this. We, it, it appears that we are in very troubled waters and difficult times, but I want you to take this away. It says in the Bible that all things work together for good to those who love him, who are called to his purpose, even in these difficult and most troubled times. And, you know, Joe, do you have an answer for um, with everything? Look, the, the Bible says that we know in part. Um, you know, I look at some of the stuff that's happened around the world and do you have an answer for it? I, I don't. But one thing I can say is, is this is that this is a tremendous time of opportunity where we can be the mouth, the hands, and the feet of Jesus, that we can share the good news also in very practical ways with other people. Is there someone in your, in your street, your neighborhood, um, that needs a bit of help, whether it means you know um, a, a, a drop off of food or or, or any kind of supplies, or is there someone that you can call and encourage over the phone, or or get on, you know, either Facebook or Zoom or, or whatever kind of app that you use, you know, to um, to video chat or whatever. What is God prompting you on your heart to do? Because this is the the very best time that the people of God, the church, can rise up and just be the hands and feet of Jesus in this world because I'm seeing there'll be a lot of people returning back to God, a lot of people whose faith has been worn down over the years being rekindled and, and their trust being put back into God and not the things of this world. So let me just say to you again, where is your trust? Is it in the things of this world? Is it bringing you fear, anxiety, you feeling troubled when you go to sleep or do you go to God and say, Lord, I trust you in all these, the most um, challenging of times, I trust you. Psalm 91, John chapter 14, the Lord is our fortress. Let your heart not be troubled. As always, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel kissprinciple.net, like us on our Facebook page, Instagram. My name's Joe. Be blessed. Have an encouraging week. Don't forget to pray for someone. Encourage them. Lift them up. God bless.